What you guys in this video, we're taking a look at how to clone a NVMe M.2 SSD uh, to another NVMe drive. This could be SSD to SSD or NVMe to NVMe uh, drives. Now on this board here, uh, this is the first slot which I've got. This board does have two M.2 slots, which means this is my main M.2 Windows drive in here. And I can put in the secondary one into the bottom one here and clone that over. Now this can be a larger drive, so if you're upgrading, you can use this method to upgrade and then swap them over once you've completed the cloning process. If you don't have two slots on the motherboard, you can use a riser card like this one, which is a PCI Express riser card. This card supports NVMe uh, drives and also SATA drives, so depending on which one you're trying to clone. So the NVMe will go in the bottom slot just like so. It doesn't need any power cable or anything like that. It gets powered from the actual slot on the board and then you just screw it in and basically you'll be able to clone to this device here and it will basically uh, be dissimilar to the second slot on here. You just plug it into that little slot down on the board there. If you're using SATA, of course, you will need to put it in the top one here and you will need a SATA cable coming from this card to the actual motherboard itself which is on the end here. You can plug that in here and plug it into the motherboard. You can even use this little enclosure here, which uh, supports USB 3.1 Gen 2. And basically you put your NVMe drive into here and then plug it into your computer and it will show up as a USB drive on your cloning uh, software. And basically you would just select that as your destination and then it will clone to that. And either way, you can do any of these methods so I've got a screwdriver here. What I'm going to do is remove the uh, bottom plate here and I'm going to use the motherboard method because I've got two slots on the board here. I'll just remove these screws and this is just the cover plate to cover the M.2 slot. And once I've removed this, I'll be able to put in uh, the NVMe drive in here. So if you're using, say for instance, a 500 gigabyte or a 250 gigabyte uh, main drive in your top slot, and you want to upgrade that to a larger drive, maybe a two terabyte or a one terabyte, you can put in the one terabyte, a two terabyte into the second slot and clone it over. There's a little pad on here. This is a thermal pad and you can remove the little sticker on it. And this just keeps the drive nice and cool when in operation. So all you need to do now is slot your uh, drive in and then basically screw it down with the little kit, screw kit that you get inside your motherboard pack. And basically, once that's done, you'll be able to put the cover back on and screw the cover down and then do the cloning process. It's that simple, very simple and easy to do. And once it's finished cloning, you would obviously reverse the cycle. You would undo this plate, remove the drive and put it into the top slot. And that would then become your main drive. Uh, and that's it. So we're going to be using a free piece of software called IOMI Backupper. This is the standard 6.4 free version. And just download this one here click the download free and uh, there you go. So once you get this downloaded, it'll last you for your email address and then basically you can download it. And once it's downloaded, we'll get this installed and I'll show you the cloning process with a free piece of software. The previous video I did yesterday was with paid software. A lot of people wanted to see the free software as well, just in case they wanted to use the free version. And this is how you're going to do it exactly the same but using free software here. So let me go ahead and install this onto the system. Here we go. So I'm just going to click OK here. Now we'll be doing the cloning process from the desktop, which we're on the computer here. So I've gotten plugged in. So this was where we're going to be doing uh, our cloning. Now, if you see in the previous video, I, I booted to a rescue CD and cloned from that environment. Uh, I think IOMI Backupper does have a WinPE version, which you can create yourself. Um, I've done videos on that before. Just check my playlist. Um, I'm not sure if it's on the free version for the uh, WinPE version, but you can check that out for yourself. But you don't really need to do it. You can do it from the actual desktop. So that's all now installed. All I need to do here is go down to where it says clone here. Click on clone and you can see here clone disk, uh, partition clone and system clone. Depending on what you want to do, we're doing a disk clone, which means we're cloning the complete whole disk. So the first thing you're going to need to do is select your source drive. This is the drive that you want to clone. So this will have all of your operating system and stuff on it. So you just need to select the right drive, which is the drive that you're cloning. Okay. So in my case, it's the C drive. So I'm going to collect, 
click on this one, highlight it and go next. Now we need to choose a destination to clone to, which is going to be our new drive or upgraded drive or whatever drive you're going to be putting in a, a larger drive. You can see it's unallocated. So I'm going to select this one. It will give you a warning saying that uh, all of the information is going to be erased on that drive. All the partitions and everything will be gone. So if there's any data on there, now's the time to back out and back it up before you start the process. Now down the bottom here, you'll see a little checkbox which we can put in called SSD alignment. That's what I'm going to do here. And then click start the clone. And then basically what that's going to do is start the cloning process of our drive to our new drive. So I'll speed this process up. Doesn't take too long to clone. And that should be nearly done now. So I've just got to let it finish off. And there we have the uh, complete process done. Doesn't take too long. So we can close this off now. And basically all I could do here is basically shut the PC down, remove the drive from the second slot and put it into the first slot because that's going to be the fastest slot. And also that will be the slot I want to put it into. And you can even put the, the original drive into the second slot and format it and use it as storage. You can see here, that's how they're listed here. So it's got the same clone data across here now. So let me quickly boot to this drive so you can basically see that it does work. Rather than me swapping them around, I'm just going to go into the BIOS and change it to boot to that drive so you can see it is bootable and it does work rather than me actually swapping the drives around just to save a bit of time. But you would obviously change your drive around. So from here, what I'm going to do is select boot option one and make this my brand new drive, uh, which is my Samsung drive. And uh, basically, I'm going to disable the secondary drive. I don't really need to, uh, but I'm going to just so it doesn't uh, interfere with that boot process because they're both bootable drives. And then basically save this and boot up to the desktop and you'll see. So F10, save, click OK. And hopefully the boot process will start and we'll get to the desktop with no problems at all. So it shouldn't take too long here. Now, of course, obviously you would be replacing your drive. That's what you'd be doing here at this stage. And there we are. We're at the desktop that quick and easy with the process there. So anyway, that's basically how you can uh, clone your NVMe M.2 SSD drives. Very simple and easy to do. You can use this method for SSDs, which is your standard two and a half inch SSD drives. You've also got the M.2 uh, SATA drives, which you can use as well and do it on those if you're bored, uh, accept those. And you can also do it for your NVMe drives. Anyway, that's going to be about it. So that is how you do it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are going up on the screen right now. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.